right. Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, just as always, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rakakwadash, which is the Paleo Hebrew, the Lashwan Kwadash, the holy tongue, for the one true name of the Most High, whom the world ignorantly calls God, being Yahweh, and that of the Messiah, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus, being Yahweh Shai. Those are the only names in which salvation may be obtained. Whether you have been given the Spirit, or received that knowledge or not. I'd like to give double honor unto the Abba and the Father, the Red DMS, Great Millstone, that tell me the truth and the Spirit of Harvey, Abba Shim Yahushai. Wishing you a well today. And a sincere piece of my blessed salutation unto all you hopeful and faithful members of the elect out there, wheresoever you may be. Doing the best to make your calling and your election sure, man. May you endure. And, uh, Lord willing, this be edifying, alright? Um, had a, a Mr. Vocab Malone show up at the camp uh, yesterday, man, and uh, and you know, man, he's just he's just a uh, uh, just a troll, man. To be honest, you know, I believe uh, I believe he does know the truth. Um, you know, he does know the doctrine, and I think he just tries to, uh, uh, you know, he just tries to poke fun and stir things up like a child, man. Like I said, man, it's, I mean, it's, it's just beyond evident. The scriptures say what they say. All right, there's no, you know, no, no, no gray area, man. All right, and so, you know, he likes to jump to these little things and something that, you know, popped up that, you know, through the spirit, I figured I would just do a lesson on. Um, one of the brothers asked who the law was given to. And this guy turned around and tried to, <laughs> tried to say it's to all nations and quoted this one, this one scripture. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to it, man. And, uh, you know, like I said, Lord willing, willing this be edifying. Um, this is the book of Matthew, chapter, the book of Matthew, chapter 27, so like at chapter 28, and verse, uh, verse 19, it says, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Basically, you know, was trying to pull out this scripture to say the law has been given to all nations. Well, you go to the context, right? Like these Christians like to say, let's go ahead and grab the history, man, so we can understand the mystery, right? This is Deuteronomy chapter four and verse uh, verse six, which he knows this stuff, man. That's why I said, you know, he just he just likes to poke fun. And, and for those who are, you know, those, those ignorant Christians, all right, and you know, the word ignorant meaning just you know they just don't know, man, all right? They just don't know. Right? So, for those of you who don't know, which, you know, that's, that's what Christianity really is, man. It's just a, you know, a, a, a feel-good ceremony, if you will, man. Most of them don't know the scriptures. Some of them could quote scriptures, you know, but most of them, you know, only know a handful. And so, therefore, you know, all they have to do is watch a Vocab Malone video, and he goes to, he points out that scripture, and, you know, it, it makes sense to them, man. But, again, they don't know the context. You see, which he does. He does, man. But, you know, hey, that's his job. What he is is an apologetic, man, and an apologetic... Christianity, right, is the, the, the biggest religion on this earth. So they have different sects, different, different, uh, uh, you know, organizations within uh, uh, the Christian doctrine. And, and the apologetics is one of them. And the apologetics is, is, you know, their, their, their whole thing, all right, for lack of a better word, is, is to uh, argue doctrine, man. So what happened is these churches began losing numbers, right? They began losing numbers. And, and so, you know, somebody high up within the Christian church, all right, gave out a phone call, man, all right? And, uh, you know, of course, naturally, who would you reach out to, man? The apologetics, those who argue doctrine, hey, man, we need you to deal with these, with these, uh, uh, you know, these guys that are coming up and, you know, making us lose numbers, making us lose revenue. And that's the only reason why, you know, and unless he's getting funded by, you know, other sources as well. That's the only reason why you'd be able to what travel throughout all these different states, countries, and what have you, and be able to visit all these camps, man. All right, that that takes that takes a lot of money, man. Um, so you know, I mean, I guess you can't really blame the guy, man. Hey, everybody got to fit in their role, and you know he's doing his thing for that uh, filthy lucre, man. You know, I mean, that's they must be paying him very well to to go around and and do what he's doing and. You know, so again, you know, I, I believe he knows the truth because it's, you know, it's just, it's just that plain to see, man. All right. But, uh, but yeah, so let's go ahead and get into this context here. Deuteronomy 4 and verse uh, 5. It says, Behold, I have taught you statutes. And we can grab many scriptures on this. 
but you know this is the one that came to my mind and judgments even as the lord my power commanded me that ye should do so in the land whether ye go to possess it keep therefore and do them for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations which shall hear all these statutes and say surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people so hey israel was given the, the laws, man, the do's and don'ts according to the mind of the Heavenly Father. That's why he chose Israel. He needed a, a, a vessel, right, to rule. An ecosystem, an order was being set up, man. You can't just have everybody in rulership. Who's going who's gonna to be putting things together, man? Everybody has their specific role to play in life, man. And in fact, let me go ahead and grab a quick scripture to, to expound upon that. All we are is the vessels of the Most High, man. And just like any type of order that you have, any type of company, whatever the case may be, you need that order there to cause it to flourish, man. I use that word again, ecosystem, right? So you got to have what? You got to have your bottom feeders, right, to clean up the filth. You got to have the, uh, uh, you know, those in the middle. You got to have the predators. You see, you have the whole thing and it works together harmoniously, man. And so the Heavenly Father did the same thing with what? The vessels of men. So anyway, this is the book of Sirach, chapter 33 and verse 10. It says, and all men are of the ground, and Adam was created of the earth. Right? So all men were created what? of dust, man. Like they say, hey, we all bleed the same. Right? But yet, hey, we got different spirits, man. The Heavenly Father had, had created these vessels, and they all fulfill their role, man. And you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, right? And uh, who have, we have been scattered into all these nations. But, uh, but those who have faith, right? Those who... who who are able to receive this truth as the scriptures say their spirit bears witness that they are the children of the heavenly father man all right that's that's all the proof you need man if you're able to receive this knowledge a hey, then you're an israelite man all right and you're fulfilling what prophecy you see what he's really trying to do is cause prophecy to cease he's fighting against the works of the most high man ezekiel 37 the bones are coming together man the army of israel is coming back to life and what he's doing is he's trying to hinder that, which, you know, it ain't going to work, man. This is the most high that's, that's, that's caused all this to take place, right? And we're living testimonies to that fact, man. If it wasn't for Yahweh Shai being crucified, if we were not the Israelites, we would still be in the world dead in our sins, doing the same shit it was that we were doing before we came into the world, man. He even tried pulling out a point at one point saying that, you know, this is a religion and it, and it, and it makes your mind, uh, uh, what did he say, man? Makes your mind like uh, captive, if you will. Right? So you're, you're over here, you basically, you're, you're, you're captive within your mind to be a certain way, man. And we've been captive, captive in our mind to serve sin, man. We've been liberated from that madness. We've been woken up, right? And if, any, if anything captivates your mind like that, that would be Christianity, man. You go in there and become, what, the tw twice the child of hell. You go in there and they give you, uh, uh, they justify your wickedness, right? You go in there a decent human being and you come out just a complete wicked person, man. Now you're doing all this madness, and, and, and it doesn't matter because you, your sins have been washed away in the blood of sweet Jesus, man. That's what that sweet Jesus teaches you, man. Death, destruction. You don't see any righteousness within the Christian church, man. You don't see any changes. You don't see repentance, you see? So really what he's trying to do is keep those, those bonds upon you, man. But anyway, let's continue, man. This is Sirach uh, 32 and 11. It says, And much knowledge the Lord hath divided them. There you go, man. The lesson could be closed right there. The Lord hath divided them. He created all the creations. He's divided all of them to fulfill their role, man. And again, he chose Israel to be on the top as Ecclesiastes. Let's go ahead and grab this real quick. 17 and uh, 17 reads. Look, man, these pages keep getting stuck together in my hands. My fingers are kind of dry. It's hot out here, so. Pages slipping past the brother's fingers, man. All right, here we go. This is uh, Sirach 17 and 17. It says, for in the division of the nations of the whole earth. So there it is again, man. The nations being divided, right? It says, he set a ruler over every people. And at the end of the day, you could feel how you want to feel about it, man. This is the word of the Most High, man. It is what it is. <laughs> All we could do is serve. And guess what? His ways are not our ways. If you feel some type of way about it, man. All you are is more of the flesh, man. All we are is, is, is the vessels, you see? At the end of the day, we're reading what it says, and if you feel some type of way, right, then you're an adversary, man. You are an adversary because it, 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 it hits your emotions and you don't feel like it should be that way. Hey, well, you arguing with the creator of all energy, man. So anyway, let me go ahead and continue. It says, um, for in the division of the nations of the whole earth, he said a ruler over every people, but Israel is the Lord's portion. You 
see Israel, you Israelites are the portion of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Every people had a king, every people had a ruler. But guess what? Our ruler is, is, is the creator of all energy, man. He chose us to be his vessel, right? To teach us his ways, to teach us his laws, right? There's a way that we must be carrying and conducting ourselves that's going to eventually spill off into the entire planet Earth when our king comes to meet this, meet this, this, this Edomite, not as a man, to rip the kingdom from his hand, right? From all these beast systems for, for pursuing to the book of uh, Daniel, the seventh chapter, and put it back into the hands uh, of those he created to rule. Fulfilling the new covenant, causing the law to be written within us, man. If 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 we were in the new covenant, all that would have been taken taken uh, all that would have been uh, handled, man. All this would have been come to pass. Salakia, verse twenty, it says. Uh, oh, Salakia, verse eighteen. Whom, being his firstborn, he nourisheth with discipline, right? So hey, you got a firstborn son, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna nourish him with discipline, man. And that's basically what this is. All we are. Right under this captivity of Esau, Edom, this wicked, cruel world in which every 34 seconds someone dies of stress. Every 34 seconds in America, man. <laughs> and you people in the world, man, hey, you, you're in that same condition, man. And you're still running after the world like it's something, you see? So this place, this place is destroyed, man. Right? Having Esau over us, right? The suffering these curses of Deuteronomy 28. You see, all this is the Heavenly Father's discipline. This is likened unto your father whooping you with a belt. And why does your father whoop you with a belt? So you could learn a lesson. And some of us are going to learn that lesson, while the rest of us are going to have to learn it the hard way, man. Hey, he whooped you. You didn't receive the correction. So therefore, your blood will be upon your own head. And giving them the light of his love doeth not forsake them. Right? He doesn't forsake us, man. In fact, he gave us what? He gave us Yahweh Shai. Right? So that all of our sins could be forgiven, man. So no matter where you were, no matter where you've been scattered to, right? Which is why... <laughs> there we go now now we understand the context man going back to this matthew that we started with which is why it's been told to go to all nations because we had israelites scattered throughout all the nations in this point in time because that's what the curses said would take place with our people man let's go ahead and grab a uh, hosea real quick and I'll, we'll, we'll jump back to the sirach here man this is the book of hosea uh hosea uh, uh wait oh, hosea chapter eight and um verse 8 and it reads oh, Israel is swallowed up now shall they become uh, sh now shall they be among the Gentiles as is a vessel wherein is no pleasure right <laughs> we've been swallowed up man we've been given into the hand of our enemy right as the book of uh, uh what is that the book of Amos I believe a uh, 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 boy is is sold for a harlot man and a, and, a, and, a, and a daughter for a for a glass of wine. So we've been we've been sold right into all the different hands of these heathens, man. You see, so we have our offspring that have that have you know our, our seed, right? That has continued throughout all these different separate captivities, and therefore we would be coming from all nations, man. We would be coming from all people. You see, which is why what the scriptures say to prophesy right to all nations, man. Because we have Israelites within all these nations. And again, by them receiving the word, let's go ahead and grab that. That's living proof that you are the vessels of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. Like I said, this that, that devil knows this, man. All he is is playing the part. Hey, hey if the, the Christian church is going to give you money to go travel around the world and, and go debate these guys, it, hey, it's going to be easy to be a troll, especially if you're an Edomite, man. I, I, I do believe he, he, he's an Edomite, right? I do believe he understands the truth, but I don't. obviously he hasn't received it. If that makes sense, man. You see? Because you got to know the truth to tell a lie. Right? So, yeah, man. You know, of course, yay. Yeah, you'd be, oh, you know what, man? I'm going to go ahead and do this. You know, I'm going I'm to troll. I'm gonna... And that's what he does, man. Pokes, pokes, pokes. And it was funny because when he came out, all these demons started manifesting themselves, man. You had people throwing bottles at the brothers. You had some dude jump in the middle of the street screaming at cars. I was like, man, <laughs> I was like, hey, it's funny that he shows up and... and you know, and I've been I've been out here with the brothers in Arizona for a little bit, man. For those of you who don't know, you know, you know, I was originally part of the Denver camp, man. Still with them brothers in spirit. You know, beautiful camp out there, beautiful camp out here, man. We're all of one mind anyway. You know, but uh out of all the time that I've been here, I ain't you know, it usually doesn't get too crazy like it did, man. And lo and behold, Bo Cap Malone shows up and all of a sudden there's a bunch of demons around, man. So, you know, you hey, you this this thing this thing is beyond us, man. This thing is 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 this is a spiritual thing that we're in, man. All right, and if you if you if you really look, then you'll be able to see exactly that. This is a uh, Romans chapter eight and uh, verse 
16, it says, The Spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. Hey, so the Spirit bears witness, man. If the Spirit is working with you like that, then, hey, you, you're an Israelite, man. You don't need, that's what the scriptures say, avoid foolish uh, uh, contentions and endless genealogies. You don't need to come up and present no genealogy to us. You don't, you don't even need to tell me what nationality you are, man. If you come up and you start and you're able to receive this truth, hey, that's enough, man. You know, eventually, you know, hey, I mean, we all like to like to identify what our tribe may be. You know, we were just talking about it yesterday, man. I believe I'm from the tribe of Ishakar. I've always believed I was from the tribe of Ishakar. I was brought up right uh, underneath the, you know, the Chicano movement and all this, man. And, and uh, you know, I was, I was just kind of brought up that way. But, you know, part of me, part of me always kind of thought that I might be a Gadite, man. And, and you know, brothers, brothers have told me that, too. So, you know, but at the end of the day, man, I know I'm an Israelite. You see? Why? Because the spirit bears witness, right? So, I, hey, man, in the, in the kingdom, you know, we'll be able to know all the, all the, all the little details and what have you. But right now, we know enough for salvation, man. You see? So just, 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 just as the old saying goes, man, K-I-S-S, keep it simple, stupid. But anyway, verse 12, it says, some of them have he blessed and exalted. Hey, so some of those that he divided, they were, their, their, their lot, right, out of that division. Hey, these ones here are going to be set for righteousness man hey just imagine if you're a kid right you're making all these little you're making some have a little you have a lump of clay and you make you know you make 10 guys right here 10 guys you make a whole group of 50 guys man hey well then you divided them that's what the most high did in the division of the nation he created the nations he divided them man you see and what do you do you separate them you know what this this pile right here man these ones these ones are like my favorite ones these ones I'm going to set for glory. These ones are going to be the, you know, every, everything perfect. I'm going to display my glory through these people, man. And that's exactly what he plans to do with us, man. Which is why, well, the, the, we're going to receive the fruit of immortality, man. What did he say? That the mortal will put off, will put, uh, will put off that mortal clothing and, and put on the, the immortal, man. And that's when, that's when they're going to see glory in its true form, man. Right now, we're spiritually coming together. We're spiritually being quickened, man. But it's going to come in the physical form, man. You see? Anyway, this is uh, going on. Sirach chapter... Uh, oh, shoot. Where was I? Sirach, Sirach chapter 33 and verse... Uh, finishing off verse 12. It says, And some of them hath he sanctified and set near himself. But some of them hath he cursed and brought low and turned out of their places. Hey, he's brought some low, turned them out of their places, made them lose right, right, uh, uh, particular things, their inheritances. And one of those that he's getting ready to turn out of his place is Esau Edom, man. The, 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 the last beast system to rule over the world before the war to end all wars and the theocracy of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai is set up. Verse 13, it says, As the clay is in a potter's hand to fashion it as is pleasure, so, and this is just the analogy I was just saying, man. So man is in the hand of him that made him to render to him as liketh him best. Good is set against evil, life against death, and the godly against the sinner, and the sinner against the godly. And every good